In the early 1940s, humanity was conquered and nobody paid any attention. The conquest started with the development of the first electronic computers. Now these early machines were very crude. By comparison to today, your smartphone is a million times more powerful than those early computers, but computers changed the world. I'll show you. Imagine a world without computers. Imagine a world without online shopping, <laughs> without online banking, without online anything. Imagine a world without a GPS to tell you how to get someplace. Imagine a world without social media, without streaming entertainment, without email, without remote meetings. Computers have utterly changed our world. And nobody paid any attention because it took place over a number of years, decades, generations actually. But that was then. Let's talk about now. Artificial intelligence, more commonly known as AI, is the hot topic of today, and with good cause, because AI is going to change our world more than computers changed it. And it's going to do it in the next three to five years. That means the transformation is not only going to be mind-boggling, but it's going to occur very, very quickly. And that's why I say that the times ahead of us are apocalyptic. AI, AI is already faster, more reliable, more dependable, more accurate than the average human being already. And this is a problem for many people. Because, for example, if your job happens to depend on forecasting or planning, scheduling, budgeting, reading, writing, forecasting, analysis, translation, interpreting, summarizing, any of these things, that within a couple of years, AI is going to be able to do your job and do it better and cheaper. And that's not the end of it. There are many other problems ahead of us with AI. There's financial exploitation. There's identity theft. There's fraud. There's data biasing. So many things can go wrong, will go wrong, because of AI. Now, this is not just my opinion. In May of 2023, 150 scientists and world leaders jointly signed a statement. This statement, perhaps the scariest 22-word sentence ever written. In this statement, these leaders warn that the threat of artificial intelligence to human extinction, yes, extinction, is right up there with pandemics and nuclear war. Now, for myself, I don't happen to believe them. I don't agree with it. I don't think that AI is as dangerous as pandemics and nuclear war. No, I think it's worse. It's more dangerous because we can avert nuclear war. 
We have for 80 years. With any luck, we'll continue to do it. COVID, despite all the problems that it had, it showed that we can at least exert some control over pandemics. But AI, no. AI is changing faster, it's growing faster than we can possibly imagine. We cannot control it, we don't know how to control it. We certainly cannot stop it. The genie is out of the bottle and it won't go back in. It's scary, but the future is not bleak, not altogether bleak anyway. AI is powerful, it's very powerful, but it's not all powerful. It has a weakness, an Achilles heel. AI has no intuition. AI cannot take a guess. AI has no hunches. AI has no gut feelings. AI has no imagination. AI cannot dream. And you can. And this is your advantage over AI. Quite possibly your only advantage over AI. It is your hope for the future. But with a hope, comes a problem. You see, our society is structured so that we don't appreciate, we don't encourage those things that AI cannot do. I'll give you an example, a couple of examples. Consider dreaming, for example. We give lip service to dreaming. We say how wonderful it is. The Great humanitarian Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. A noble sentiment. But when it comes right down to it, we don't think that way. I've been told, Jim, you're a dreamer. It was not a compliment. <laughs> How about imagination? Albert Einstein, Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Who's going to argue with Albert Einstein? But the next time the Internal Revenue Service <laughs> gets in touch with you and tells you that last year's tax return was very imaginative, <laughs> then you'll have an idea of just how much value we place on imagination. So, society doesn't appreciate, it doesn't encourage imagination, it doesn't encourage dreaming, and that's a shame because these are the things that AI cannot do. To survive the AI apocalypse, we need to change the way we think. Not what we think about, the very way that we think. And to do this, it's going to require some fundamental changes in our society and in ourselves individually. Let's consider education. For decades, no. For centuries, schools have taught children the three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic. And that's good, they are important skills. But the problem is, in the very near future, AI will be able to read, write, and do arithmetic better than the average human being. And that means that we are training our children on skills that they might not need in the future. What do we do? Well, I think that in addition to teaching the three R's, we should also teach children the three I's. Inspiration, intuition, imagination. 
because this is where our future lies. That's right. Some of us, I mean, that's great for kids, but some of us have been out of school for a while. Some of us for a lot more than a while. But there are things that we can do as individuals. You can strengthen your imagination. Better than that, you can exercise your imagination with the same diligence that you spend in going to the gym, exercising your muscles. You can listen to your gut. You can trust your intuition. You can spend less time planning your next day's activities and more time imagining the future that you want to create. My friends, it all comes down to this. The end of the world as you know it, is near, and it's coming fast. And before that happens, we need to do two things. We need to lessen our obsession with logic, and we need to increase our enthusiasm for the three I's, inspiration, intuition, imagination, because that is where the future lies. In short, to survive the AI apocalypse, we need to do one thing. We need to change the way we think. We need to change our minds. Good luck and have fun. <laughs>